All right, so a quick code correction in this tutorial. Uh, here you can see we have our X and our Y position in our struct room. And then here in our player, we also have an X and Y position. Uh, now, we're also going to be adding some doors into our into our code. And then we're going to be doing some uh, some hallways to connect the the rooms. So what this is going to lead to is a need for uh, these X, Y positions are going to become mightily important and we're going to be using them quite a bit. But the X position by itself, if I just tell you the X position of this room, it doesn't really give you any information. It doesn't really tell you anything uh, that you need to know. Likewise, if you just get the Y position uh, without the X position, it just, it's useless information. Uh, so what this suggest to us is that the X and the Y uh, they're they're linked you need both you need the X and the Y coordinate um, so what we're gonna do and this will just make things a little easier as we get into more complicated algorithms such as for hallways uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna define a struct type def struct position and this will just kind of encapsulate, that's a fancy word. This will just combine the X and the Y together. So when we want to kind of pass it to a function, a coordinate, we don't have to pass the X and the Y. It'll just make everything a little simpler. It, and it's good, good practice. So position, and there we have it find, and then it will just have the int X, int y. Um, now later on we might add some more information here such as uh, tile underscore type tile something like that maybe but for now all we need is the x and the y. Okay so now instead of having these two ints what we'll have is a position and this doesn't need to be a pointer. So position, I guess just call it position. Likewise for the player, position, position. Okay, so now basically anywhere that we're using X and Y, we kind of need to switch it to a switch to using this position. Um, so here, new room position. Uh, so here, it's here in our original code, we're declaring the X position, and the Y position of the room, uh, but we don't have these anymore. We just have a new room position and then it will be dot x because it's not dynamically allocated. So it's not going to be the uh, dash pointer thing. It's going to be just a dot. And same thing here. Dot y equals y. Um, So maybe we'll just copy that position dot x. And we just is that right? Yep. Oops. Uh, so we'll just go and change all these. Lots of copy and paste. Same thing for the player. 
Um, now do we do? And again, this will just make things easier when we, uh, we're moving towards we're moving towards having hallways that uh, kind of connect each room and that's going to be some more complicated coding. So I just want the, uh, this, this gives us a bit more flexibility eventually. Uh, but there's a lot. Probably should have done this from the start. But we're really just hacking this code together. So I'm sure there will, there will be more code changes like this down the line that you got to look forward to. Uh, let's just run that, see if we got them all. Uh, we did not. 174. again. Okay, so everything works as expected. Next, we'll add some doors to the rooms. 